Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a screw. Whether you're making a screw top for a bottle or just a regular metal screw. Let's open up Photoshop. First let's draw an ellipse with the ellipse tool. I'm going to click, shift, and drag. And I'm going to make another smaller ellipse. And with that layer selected, I'm going to hold down Option, Shift, and select both of these. Option, Shift again. And if we want to make a working copy, I'm going to group these. Command G and duplicate them. Command J. Now we can merge these layers by either converting to a smart object or rasterizing. If you're not already in the 3D workspace, at the top near the right is a little drop down caret and you can select the 3D workspace. Next, with the layer selected, go to 3D, 3D Extrusion, Create. It's helpful when you're working in a 3D workspace to have your secondary window open to view multiple sides of your model. If you don't see that window, go to View, Show, 3D Secondary View, and you can swap between the views of your main window and the secondary. In the Properties panel, let's go to the Coordinates, and for the X angle here in the middle, let's make that 90 degrees so I can see the side view. Next, go to the Deform icon, which looks like a twist. And dragging the twist slider left or right, you can start creating this screw. You can see that if we do less of a twist, you can see more of the roundedness of the thread. Whereas if you do a tighter, more of a twist, it'll be sharper. If you want one end to be narrower, you can adjust the taper. And another way to get to the deform option with the layer selected is to tap the V key on your keyboard. And that will give you this heads up display. If you tap V again, you can change some other options like the inflation and the bevel. So if by tapping the V key, I'm filtering through these effects up here in the properties panel. To make another style of a screw, if I go back to layers and draw another ellipse, this time I'm going to use squares for the threads. Group Command G and Duplicate Command J. If I want to just merge, merge these as a raster, I can do Command E for Merge. Go back to 3D, 3D Extrusion, Create. And again, I'm going to go to Coordinates and rotate this 90 degrees on the X axis. Go back to Deform. And you can drag this left or right. You'll see the threads are sharper this time. If you need to adjust the extrusion depth, this height, you can increase the depth here. If you want to save, if you're really happy with this and want to save it, under Shape Preset, you can do the drop down and use the gear icon to save this extrusion preset. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.